Squarespace 7.1 includes a new gallery feature that takes a little getting used to, but ultimately gives you a lot of flexibility in using galleries on your website. Now, by galleries, I mean when you are planning to add really two or more photos together on in one section, the gallery tool is the most helpful tool for you to use. It eliminates a lot of need to um, constantly be working with spacing um, and balance for your website with multiple photos. So we're going to go over to the services page where we have a gallery and look at the options that we have. So this is a gallery. There are six pictures here. And as you can see, they're all very well aligned, um, perfect spacing, really easy to work with. Um, also great if you're just dropping in and out photos, say from a portfolio um, or an event, um, and you don't have to worry about making sure all your pictures are lined up and, and spaced evenly. So to make changes to the gallery, we're going to click on edit in the top left hand corner of the screen, and we're going to hover over the gallery. Now we have two different editing menus here for a gallery. One is going to be to edit the photos themselves and in that case we're going to use the photo icon. The second is going to be to edit the layout of the gallery and for that we're going to use the pencil. So first of all to edit the photos within the gallery we're going to choose the photo and this is very um, simple to follow. If we want to remove a picture from the gallery, we're going to hover over the photo and click on the trash can and be able to eliminate the photo. And as you can see behind here, the gallery automatically adjusted to the removal of the photo. And then if we want to add a new photo, we're just going to click on the plus sign where we can either search for images using a stock photo or we can upload images from our computer. So that process is the same as if we were just adding a new single photo. We do want to make sure to add a description to our photo, again, for SEO purposes and also to serve our audience well. And then we can add a um, click-through image as well, uh, a click-through link on the image as well here in this space. So um, once we have the photos that we want to use, I'm just gonna make this even. I'm gonna go ahead and take one more out. So now I have four photos and I'm gonna click close. And as you can see, this would look a little bit odd because we only have three in the row and then just one at the bottom. So in this case, we want to come over to edit the gallery design. And when we click the pencil, we can see here that we have a lot of different options. So this is set up as a simple grid, um, but it's also set up for three columns. So if we just drop this down to two columns, this will automatically adjust for us. And then we can adjust the spacing as well between the photos. Um, we can change this to um, a full bleed so that the photos extend to the edge of the site um, over to full or back at inset. So we have a lot of different options here um, just within even the grid type itself. But to go further, we can use the drop down menu and we can now change the display of the gallery um, in a different, um, different format. So we may want this to be a slideshow instead. And in this case, we're gonna get the slides and then we can choose how we want the controls, how um, tall or, um, how we want the slideshow to appear. Do we want it? How wide do we want it to be? All of those kind of things. We can add thumbnails to a slideshow. So we have a lot of different options um, just using the same gallery. So play around with those and see which one you like. Um, and then again, we can turn off the default theme use and change the background of the section as well. Um, using the colors tool here. So um, as you can see, it's really easy to change the photos in a gallery as well as changing the design of the gallery itself. Are you looking for more resources to help your nonprofit grow its reach and impact? Unlock my free nonprofit resource library that includes exclusive workbooks, templates, and training videos to help you tell more people about the incredible work you are doing. Just go to 19design.net to get your access right now. Until then, keep making a great first impression online.